Welcome to this QuickBooks desktop tutorial on how to pay bills properly. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University and I am a practicing CPA and I've been doing this for about 25 years. I've worked with thousands upon thousands of businesses in helping them get set up on QuickBooks, help them run their business more efficiently, help them understand their financial statements, and in general help them make more money in their business. So let's get right to this. So what is the problem? What happens if you don't pay your bills properly in QuickBooks? Well, first of all, you risk doubling your expenses. Second, you risk running out of cash. And third, you risk making poor decisions in the business because your financial statements are going to be messed up uh, when you go in to take a look at those. And if you have messed up financial statements, you're going to make bad decisions. All right, so we're going to talk about how to get around that, how to fix that, how to pay those bills properly. First, if you could subscribe to my channel and also like this video, I would very, very much appreciate it. Uh, I do this for free. I do this to help people out. I do this to help small business owners. That is my passion. And by subscribing and liking this video, you're helping me out a lot. Okay, so let's get to this. Let's talk about how to pay bills properly. So we're here on the home screen in QuickBooks Desktop 2021, all right? and if you don't already know how to enter bills into QuickBooks, make sure to go watch my other video. Um, I'll put a link to that down in the description, but go watch the video on how to enter bills properly in QuickBooks, because there is a sequence of you enter bills and then you go into pay bills. And you wanna make sure that you follow this sequence so that you're capturing everything. Okay, so first of all, uh, we're gonna assume that you have entered your bills correctly. So when you go to pay your bills, there's a couple things. If you're on the home screen, you know, you can follow this flow chart. You're going to see this pay bills icon here, or you can go to the vendors drop down menu and go to pay bills. All right. Either one's going to work. It's going to take you to the same place. So we click on that and you see that it takes us to the pay bills screen and you're going to see a whole lot of stuff here. All right. So let's walk through what each of these things mean. And then I'm going to show you how to not only pay the bills properly in QuickBooks, but also how to think about when you pay your bills, what you want to be thinking about. OK. All right. So show bills. You can change this to be due on or before a certain date, or you can say show all bills. I typically show all bills so I can see what I have out there. All right. You can filter this uh, if you want to filter by one vendor. Some people have multiple bills uh, from certain vendors, and so they want to filter just by that vendor. You don't have to do that. Just leave this blank. It's going to show all the bills. Okay, you can sort by the due date, which is what I recommend. So we're going to leave this on all vendors because we want to see all of the bills. Okay, now you can sort by due date. Uh, or you can sort by discount date. So if you get discounts from certain vendors and you want to sort by the, the due date for that discount, you can do that here. You can sort by the vendor amount due. So there's all sorts of different ways. Now, I always look at the due date. And the reason for that is because it's very important to think about what you're paying when you pay it. And we'll get to that in just one minute. Uh, and I'll tell you the importance of that. So I recommend you leave it as sorting by the due date. OK, now down here, you've got all the bills and you can see the columns here. I won't read through all of these, but you'll see that you've got, you know, the due dates and the vendors, the amounts, etc. And you've got these check boxes. Now, these check boxes are what you're going to do when you actually go to pay that bill. All right. So I'm going to uncheck that and you see that it puts an amount in the far right column where it says amount to pay. All right. So let's uncheck that for now. All right, down here you can select all bills or you can clear your selections. You can also highlight any one of these bills and say go to bill and it'll take you to that entry in QuickBooks. All right, so if you need to go to that bill, if you look at this and say, you know what, this looks a little bit funny, um, I need to go check out this bill, you can go to this bill here in QuickBooks. All right, now if we go over here, if there are discounts that will show up here. So if you do enter uh, the terms for this bill, when you enter the bill, if you enter the terms, like if there's a what's called a 210 net 30, which means that you get a 2% discount if you pay within 10 days and it's due within 30 days. So if you specify that those are the terms, this is going to put the discount here for you. All right. So right now this is just terms net 30. And then credits. If you have a vendor credit for a certain bill, these will show up here. 
and we'll just see if we have any of these. We may not. But if you do, that will show up. It won't be grayed out. Okay, so we'll see here number of credits, total credits available, one. If I check this off, we can now set the credits. And let me pull this over to this screen. You can see that we can say, take this credit of $50. Say done. All right, so it gives us the credit here. Amount to pay is $50 less. Okay. Now, down here, payment date is going to default to today's date. Uh, generally, that's you're going to leave it that way. You may need to change it for some reason, which you can. Uh, the payment method. This is very, very important. Okay. So if you're paying by check, all right, and you leave to be printed, that means you are going to print these checks from QuickBooks. Okay. Very, very important. If you're not going to print them, Okay, so what I do, let's say that I go online and I'm going to, I go to online banking, I'm going to pay all these bills online, and I say I'm going to pay Sergeant Insurance. I went to my online banking, I paid them electronically $4,000, or maybe they sent me a QuickBooks invoice that had a link, I clicked it, I paid it electronically. I'm going to choose a signed check number, and I'm going to leave it as check. And the reason for that is because once I click, pay selected bills, it's going to tell me, it's going to ask me what check do I want to assign to this. And the check that I want to assign to that is going to be either online banking. You can type this in. You don't have to put a check number. You can put EFT, you know, ATM, debit, whatever you want to put to signify that it was paid electronically. Okay. So the only time you're going to put to be printed is if you are actually printing checks on check stock from your printer out of QuickBooks. Okay. So we're going to say assign check number, and then you want to make sure it's coming out of the right account. All right. So if this is being paid out of this checking or BB&T checking, savings, whatever it is, make sure that you choose the right account. Okay. Now, one more thing about methods. You see here, you can also choose credit card. So if you're paying a bill by credit card, you would choose this, and it's going to ask you which credit card you're using. All right. So you can go through the pay bills function by paying by credit card. Then, of course, you can choose online bank payment. OK, and there is a way to set it up so that it will pay electronically through QuickBooks. This is an additional service that does cost money. OK, so what a lot of clients, one of our clients and a lot of people do is they'll just go online and pay it through their bank, which is free, and then just choose check and assign check number. OK, now. Next, I want to talk about the importance of how to think. What, how do you pay your bills in your business? First, again, I want to ask you, if you could, please subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers. It really helps me out, really helps spread the word. Share the video and like it uh, if this is helpful. And also check out all the other videos. I've got over 300 videos on the channel, uh, all about teaching you how to properly use QuickBooks. And uh, I think they're really going to help you out. OK. All right. So let's get back to this. Now, you're thinking when you're thinking about what to pay in QuickBooks, what you want to do is you want to take the mindset of you're looking at the due date here. I like to think about a week out. All right. So if I'm going to pay, let's say that, you know, this these dates are in the future, but let's say that it's, you know, December 23rd, I might pay these bills here. OK. And, you know, so that'll get me through. If I pay my bills once a week, uh, you want to try to get on a schedule of entering and paying bills. But if I pay my bills once a week, I'm going to pay for the next week coming up. And then I'm going to leave the rest of them. Now, this is really important for cash flow purposes. OK, um, a lot of times uh, clients will or other people will pay all the bills they have at once. So if I went through and I paid all these bills, all right. And some of them aren't due for 30 days, 45 days, you know, maybe even 60 days. Well, the problem with that is you're using up all this money when you can time it. OK, so, you know, if you put off paying some bills, you're going to be collecting money during that time. So you want to preserve your cash and your cash flow for as long as possible. So you really want to try to only pay bills about a week in advance before the due date. 
I know some people that will pay them on the due date. You know, as long as you're not going to get any late fees or penalties or anything like that, you can take your time and pay those bills when they're due. Okay, so just think about that and, and you have to think about it with some vendors. Now, another thing people will do is they will contact some of their vendors and ask for longer terms. So if your vendor right now gives you 10 days to pay a bill, call them up and ask for 15. Call them up and ask for 30. They may give it to you. And if they do, then you can help your cash flow by paying that in 30 days instead of 10. OK, this becomes very, very important as you grow your business and as you are a growing business because you want to hold on to that money for as long as possible. Uh, once you check these off here, OK, so if these are the bills we're going to pay, we're going to uncheck Sergeant Insurance. We're going to say pay selected bills and you'll see here. This is where it says assign check numbers. You can choose let QuickBooks or let me. All right. If you let QuickBooks, it's going to take the most recent check number and just add to it sequentially. But if you go ahead and add your own, we're going to say these were all, all paid by online banking. We just put in EFT. We say OK. And it makes all their little clicks. Let me bring this over here. Payment summary. You can either pay more bills or say done. I'm going to say done. And there you go. So this is the importance of paying bills properly in QuickBooks. Any comments, any questions, feel free to leave those below. Uh, also, again, please subscribe to my channel, the QuickBooks University. Like and share this video. I would much appreciate it.